Hey guys, Stingray Steve here, and welcome to my channel. And uh, I had a little dilemma here the other day. I emptied out my uh, septic tank, and it's right here in front of my house where I'm standing. And uh, when he went to drain it out, the tank was full of roots. And uh, all these trees around me don't have roots capable of traveling that far. I got a little guava there and, and uh, some palms behind me. And uh, let me show you right there is where they dug it out. Now, let me show you how far these roots had to travel. And uh, I'm walking and walking. These actually went around my house or under my house, under the driveway, past my boat, all the way to here. And uh, Look at this tree. It's about 70 feet high. And I did a little research. And uh, I want to tell you about this tree. And I have another one over here. Uh, and you can see I had a guy come in and... and and trim these branches here because it was actually over my roof and uh, you see this palm tree over here it's actually uh, killing it the palm tree does not look healthy anymore it's still alive but Look what it's done to the palm tree. And uh, I trim these roots here. And you see they, after I cut them, now they're growing again. And uh, once they reach the ground, it'll start making a stump immediately. And uh, you see how it, its own roots are traveling on itself. Look, they started out from uh, from damage in the tree. And this is Fiscus aurea, the strangler fig. And uh, look what it's done to my palm tree. It just wraps around a palm tree. And uh, eventually, the palm tree is going to die. And you could see uh, there's only a little bit of new growth on the very top of this palm tree. And uh, look what's happened there. You could see. Uh, doesn't look that healthy okay so let me tell you about this uh, this tree uh, it it's a native tree and uh, this one fruits twice a year and uh, let me go around here I could show you it's starting to fruit again and uh okay you see the fruits you see little berries see the berries and uh they they're not ripe yet but okay there they are
and uh, the, the wildlife loves to eat them so I have all kinds of birds here when these fruits get ripe and look how high it is it's way above here's the palm tree it's way above the palm tree and uh, it's also called a tree killer it's a native species it's not invasive it's called also called the Florida strangler fig and uh, it starts off most of the time but not always as an epitite which means a bird will do a dropping inside on a leaf branch or something up in a tree and it'll just start growing and eventually the roots will make it down to the ground so they could be growing in these these palm trees hold a lot of moisture so I noticed they basically only go after my palm trees and there's heavy aerial roots can travel 70 feet now look at this one this one is no longer a palm tree here and uh, it started to go around this palm tree and uh, I started cutting it off but this is all from this one the roots stay on top of the ground and then they start wrapping around the tree again and you see I've been cutting it away I don't want it to kill this palm tree this is a big tall palm tree here and I, I've been trimming it down but you can see there's another one and oh we got thunder people whatever uh, tree was here is no longer here and eventually it gets so strong it doesn't need the host tree anymore okay uh, look at these roots and eventually when they hit the ground see this one's hit the ground and and you can see look it'll keep growing but as far as the shade goes these trees have a lot of shade and they're they're great because they feed the birds and I understand they take a lot of carbon dioxide massive amounts of carbon dioxide out of the uh, air just look how big it is and it look at the shade I wonder and uh, also these roots which look go under my house all the way to the septic tank looking for water these roots filter the water so actually they do they're good for the environment in that way they're not good for the palm trees now I've got a oak tree over there and uh, it seems like they don't, they didn't go after the oaks so let's take a walk over here so they have heavy aerial roots so if you're a landscaper these roots will lie on top of the ground under the ground everywhere and uh, here's an oak tree right here and uh, you can see that basically they don't attach to oaks and this is a beautiful tree also but they don't attach to oaks but and here's another oak in my yard and this is this is a, a beautiful tree it's it's more than a hundred feet high and uh, 
we're gonna walk and it does not go after there's no sign of a strangler fig on it but it will go after the palm trees now this one over here I just cleared hi Mary Hey, my neighbor's here. We'll get. We'll, we'll continue in a second. Hey. Well, guys, I'm back, and uh, my neighbor's kid wanted to see the turtles, and uh, I'm gonna have another video about that. But basically. Let's go over what I was talking about. Uh, they store, start off as an epitite, which is a, most of the time they do, which is an air plant. Lives up in the trees and eventually the roots come down. They're natives. Uh, they vine when they're young and then they become trees. Uh, heavy aerial roots become self-supporting when they reach the ground. They grow 60 feet high I think these are even higher and uh, 70 feet wide the roots can expand more than 70 feet as uh, we saw on my uh, septic tank that roots are everywhere it's dense shade has surface roots so if you're gonna cut the grass they're gonna be bumps all over your lawn so you gotta think about it if you want one of these trees. It's uh, they grow so fast. There's massive fruit drops under the trees. It's gonna be a mess. The birds don't eat them all. Uh, they have indoor uses as bonsai trees. The people grow them, use them as bonsai trees. They eventually will kill the host. And uh, there's. 10 species of uh, these, uh, and uh, only two of them are native to Florida, so I don't know what kind I have. It's a good shelter for wildlife, good food. We went over, it absorbs a lot of CO2, filters the water, and it's also called a golden fig. So uh, I cleared out a, a tr an invasive uh, pepper tree that was right here, and uh, this uh, fig was starting to kill my palm tree and uh, you could see it's what I did was uh, I tried to cut in between the roots at least slow it down a bit so I cut around the tree and uh, it's been about four or five days and uh, you could see the the leaves are turning yellow so uh, I definitely slowed it down anyway so and you could see it's almost as high as this palm tree it's it's getting there and there's a a, a telephone wire right there and uh, It'll definitely become a problem at the speed these things grow. So uh, I'm going to try to keep ahead of it. And uh, I'll give you an update if I was able to control it at least. I definitely don't need it here. And I got the other two. And I'm going to put a little traveler's palm in between here. And uh, look at this tree. Isn't that beautiful? It's in full bloom. And uh, see the leaves? And uh, it's sort of an invasive species also. Uh, that one's all by itself. But here's from the seeds from that tree. And you see how it's growing up my palm? 
it's the same tree and uh it's it i don't know if it grew right out of the palm it seems yeah and and it has a root that's made it to the ground and uh there it is and it it hasn't reached the top yet but uh that's what they look like so uh even though that's on its own over there this one is attached to my palm tree and uh There's something else I might have to control, but I have to stay ahead of the things. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> if I find more turtles, I'll let you know. Okay, guys, take care. God bless.